has five elements. Wood, fire, earth, metal, water. So which element are you? Are you an extroverted people person? Do you get along well with people, love being around people, and just thrive off of that people energy? And are you hot like Ryan Gosling? If so, you might have a burning fire personality. A fire element usually has a smaller triangular face like this or like this. They have wide shoulders, just like the base of a fire where it's big, and then it converges and peaks on the top. And sometimes they have a flush red complexion. Fire elements love the heat. They enjoy sunbathing, so think of summer pool parties, beaches, vacations, where they're with their group of friends. And then at night, they gather around a campfire to roast the chocolate marshmallows. Mm. All these memories are usually full of happiness and joy. So the fire element represents summer and joy. Fire elements are charismatic and passionate. They love the community and bring forth happy and joyful energy. However, too much fire, these people can be overly dramatic and histrionic. As fire roars upward and outwards, fire elements tend to get red faced, headaches, hypertension, red eyes, mouth ulcers, just like a volcano waiting to erupt. So the main idea here is, if you're a fire element, you need a balance of oxygen, fuel, and heat. In element terms, this translates to people, community, and passion. Here are three wellness tips for a fire element, including lifestyle, nutrition, and acupressure point. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the content so far. Fire elements are quick and speedy, so it's best to slow down. Exercises like Tai Chi and yoga are encouraged. Secondly, interior fire burns body fluids, including your blood, your urine, your brain fluid, your spinal fluid, even your saliva, you name it. Nutritionally, try to consume more red color foods as red is more associated with heat and fire. So foods such as beets, cherries, strawberries, raspberries, apples, bell peppers, grapefruits, tomatoes, watermelons, you name it. If you are a fire element, comment below on what type of red color foods you like to eat. Last but not least, we have acupressure. This acupressure point is essential for fire elements. This acupressure point calms the heart, alleviates some of that stress and anxiety, and quiets the mind. This acupressure point is also good for... Uh, what was I going to say? <laughs> Yes, forgetfulness. This acupressure point is called Sun Mun, also known as Spirit Gate. And this is an inner gate to your inner mind, spirit, and emotions. Here's how you find the acupressure point. You take your hand, you bend it, and you dance it around like this. This makes a cubital crease, which is a fancy way of saying your wrist line. And the point is right next to the flexi carpi ulnaris. Wait, where's that? Here. Do you see it? Uh, not really, right? Hold on. One sec. Okay. Okay, here we go. So this is a cubital crease, and this is a flexor carpi ulnaris. This acupressure point is right to the left of this tendon. Okay? Alright! Here's
here's an acupressure massage technique of how you should use this point. If there is pain, don't press any further. Okay, so point, you press it, slowly going deeper and deeper for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five, and then release for five seconds. So in total, you're pressing this point for five minutes. And you can use this acupressure massage technique every night before bed so you can de-stress and relax.